I'm Hannah, and I'm going to talk about searching in C++. You um, can see this simple code, which is string view, and use HSN view, and it will give you engrams, which is like more like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go. So you have function engram of, which takes string view, and pipe it into HSN transform, which will trans transform it into engram type, and then you enumerate it. So you have into engram, and it's just an array. So it looks like this. We have position in position in the range of the engram. So you have a position and engram. Okay. Then you have full text uh, structure, which contains multi set of strings, map of engrams to a set of index entries, some iterator, which is contains uh, iterator to original multiset, offset, uh, where the, uh, where the uh, uh, engram is, and then you insert something, you can remove it from it, and then you can search it. Okay. Insert is just easy. You will take string view and place it into, content, uh, into entries. It, it will al always success. Then uh, you will look at the engrams, iterate through them, and for each engram in, in index, you will create a new set. If there is not any, if there is already something, it will give you iterator to it. And then uh, you will uh, uh, place into it the iterator of the string and position when the engram in the string is. Remove is same, but in other direction. So I will go quickly through. And then, Let's, let's have function get position and set, which will take the tuple of, uh, of, of set and engram, which is the, from the image. And then uh, you will find a uh, appropriate uh, set of samples. And if there is none, you will return empty position and set. Otherwise, you will return a reference to samples. Position and set is just position in the, uh, against the uh, start of the string. And there is some magic type, which is value or reference to something because it's really useful. So let's have some, some engrams. Hmm, what about JTRAT? Oh, something different. Regex? Oh, no. Mm. What about, hmm, is there, that's the name of my, my dog. Okay, there is an engram with 36 uh, occurrences in a whole set. I recommend to start uh, searching from, from it because uh, your, your result will never be bigger than the smallest set you find. Okay, then you have function relative, which takes the position and set and just transform the view. I can do this. Just transform the view. Uh, so it, uh, it will actually look at looking into set uh, with relative positions against uh, the string you are searching for if there is the string you are searching for. So just remove the number, or like decrease the number by the offset. And there is the intersect, which will take two, one on the left, one on the right, create empty set for result, calculate the intersection of the relative position on the left, on the right, insert into the result, and return a new position and set with value, not the reference. And then you have search function, which will take needle as a string view, engrams of needle, transform it into the position and set, and then you just fold it uh, from the left. All the set uh, via intersect function, take the set from it, and uh, you have a search algorithm done. And you can search it for undefined behavior, like this, or you can search it for whatever you want. For CPP reference and C++ standard uh, is indexed there. And whatever, not about. Hmm. There is a bond. James Bond. <laughs> there is a bond. James Bond. <laughs> or you can monad. Oh, there is a lot of monads. Okay, thank you.